one through six. And I have to Jesus, say, there are six of them? And I hear there's a seventh on the way. <laughs> oh, my you God. Did Jamie's <laughs> earlier? No, Jamie I didn't. Jamie makes an appearance in five and six. Or I guess he's in the movie. He's Jamie Kennedy is still a thing? Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> He's so I did not know that. <laughs> Sec- Jamie Kennedy. You remember Jamie Kennedy's X Factor back in the day? Oh, on CW, okay. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the tips, you know, like the spiky yeah. hair. Maybe. I don't know. He was uh, in Harold and Kumar as a dude that just comes out of the woods and starts pissing at you. Was he? I remember oh, from Scream One and Scream Two. I, know. I was about to say I, I was no also there. And I Son of the Mask, that. which I never watched, cool. but yeah. yeah, yeah Son yeah. of the Mask. Anyway, why does Jamie Kennedy piss in the woods though? He, uh, he's a thing in those movies. So, one through six I've watched. There's a seventh on the way in here. Mm. I have to say, my ranking, one, two, five. Wow. Yeah. They brought it back with five. There's actually, like, real practical effects. Uh, <laughs> there's, which is, the yeah. They went, they went back to basics is what yeah, they, they did. Really, they really, really did. And it was good. Except they're in South Africa, which is a little weird. <laughs> so it went from from the Arizona desert to, to Mexico. South- oh, okay. In the second one, and then back to the desert in the third. The fourth one's back in time. Oh, they yeah. always end up going back There's in time with these movies. West one, <laughs> just terrible, because all they did was put like a gray filter on everything. <laughs> okay, like, so <laughs> when did they do the remote control car thing? Because I remember in two. two. Yeah, it was two. But they're in Mexico. But is it is um that's how they perfect Kevin it. Bacon in it? No, he's no, that was the, the first one. The, the the partner. The older guy. guy? Yeah. Okay. Wait, oh, why, wait, wait. Why did Kevin Bacon? How they write him off? He just went on he, his merry yeah. way with the oh, okay. doctor lady. Oh, okay, okay. And then, isn't Reba McIntyre and her husband in oh, part yeah, two the, as well? Bert, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bert? The Burt character, no, but he actually, oh, Reba McIntyre got divorced. Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that guy. So he, <laughs> he becomes a star in three through six. <laughs> With Jamie Kennedy co-starring in five and six, I think in seven, it feels like they're going to try to pass the torch. <laughs> to and Jamie Kennedy or? Jamie Kennedy. Wow, his yeah, career is wow. really after, falling off. After watching the, the breath of... When are they going to bring Mystery Science Theater and we're just going to watch them? That's what we will do. That's what we will do. We'll have it as our background right up here. And oh, look at Trent. Wait, well, yeah, you do this to yourself, man. I know. Clearly. Clearly. So, yeah, that's one through six Tremors. Was that your weekend? Thank you. That's a Tremors. thing, Tremors. You guys remember that? You, were you a child at one point <laughs> in your dad's house? And it really was. Recently that divorced, is such so a sad movie. Uh, all you had was basic cable and <laughs> Tremors, Tremors yeah. TBS that night. Probably, yeah. yeah, TBS or WGN. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad just made two Hungry Man meals for you and it. <laughs> wow, that's getting super specific. <laughs> I think Tony needs that's, to... Uh, you're digging some memories yeah. up, bud. <laughs> yeah, I love that, bro. <laughs> 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 Dude, that was a. I, I will admit, the Hungry Man meal brownie was pretty fucking gas. Like, I remember those kids were doing that. Those kids. Uh, those are pretty. Those. I mean. Oh yeah, those are. With the penguin on them. Yeah. Yeah, Basically yeah. The same thing. Right. Yeah. Some of them, but sometimes you get that brownie and it was just like mushy. Yeah. Even though you're like. Or it was still frozen. Even yeah. after. <laughs> there was no in between. There was no in between. <laughs> You're either getting mush or you're getting or just it overcooked it. It was trying like non charcoal. <laughs> I, like, oh, I had one quick, or no, I had kid cuisine when I was a kid, but I don't remember any of it. It was just generic. <laughs> it was here's 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 some food. chicken fingers. Eat up, child. Some you have corn. To, you have to grow big and strong. <laughs> Eat food. <laughs> Eat edible items that we just reheated from the grocery store. Pretty much. That uh, was yeah. They didn't have any copper cups when I was a kid, and I wasn't well, drinking a lot of water. Either. Probably did, but <laughs> they were for the rich people. They yeah, were not the people that could afford the copper. Yeah, really, dude, copper's worth a lot nowadays. Yeah. So you plan on melting that down and <laughs> selling it off? I don't think it's actual copper though, is it? I don't think so. Probably not. Does it taste like a penny? No, since the inside is not golden. I don't think it's. Yeah. Damn. Ha! Jokes on you, sucker. I'm pretty upset. This water was oh. tasting weird. <laughs> so, at work, 
<clears throat> this past week. Oh, you, yeah, crazy guy story. Crazy time. guy story time. <laughs> so, my one of my coworkers comes over and he's like, "Hey, I got a crazy phone call." I'm like, what? He's like, "Yeah, crazy guy." He, <laughs> this guy called in. He's he was looking to to pay or re. He did work for us, so he's trying to get W a W nine to us and some invoices. Mm. He's like, "How do I do that?" Guy's like, "Oh, no problem. You just yeah, just email. Here you go. Hey, but we're gonna need that W nine. He's like, "Do you really?" He's like, "Yeah, um, yeah, we really." Can we commit? And he's like, "This is weird." Tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "This is this is this is going weird wow. now. What is?" One of my favorite Smash characters committed tax fraud. Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. So, so he's like, okay. And the guy's like, yeah, because I do work for your company. And they come to me when they have serious problems. He's like, wait, what now? He's like, yeah. I spend all my time and energy doing this. And it really just destroys my body. And... And so I can't provide you a W nine. So you <laughs> tax fraud. Well, that's your only choice. No. See, that's how you think it would go. That's <laughs> logical. But no, he starts going off on how many calories a day he uses, and because he's, he's just telling you a story, so you'll <laughs> fuck off. That's all it is. He's like, so, oh, you won't let me just slide this one out of the so, Hey, so here's a long on. ass fucking well, story. Oh, well, hold on, but fuck you. It gets and better. Your time. It gets better. He goes, yeah. Because your company is trying to be taken over by Mormons. <laughs> what? What? So was, he goes, the Mormon uprising. Oh, no. They're trying to take over a lot of businesses. So I have been helping stop that by with my strategies and my my great thinking. I need and some Mormons. <laughs> no, Tony. <laughs> Your litmus test, if you're a Mormon or not, will not work. <laughs> if you're really into sports. Oh, now I love sports. They just, their churches are like really big, oh. and half of it's a gym, and the other half's the church. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do anything else but play basketball. What? What kind of Mormon churches are you going to? <laughs> no, it's so true. <laughs> I have a friend, he's like, yeah, dude, all the time. That's all we did. <laughs> we were in, like, more basketball leagues and shit all the time. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Uh, so this guy, yes, was saying that <clears throat> Mormons were trying to take over my company. They're going to make you athletic. <laughs> <laughs> and how, and at this point, the guy who answered the phone just like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I've given out the company emails to this guy. <laughs> Oops. He's just like, uh, send it to ID, block yeah. it. So he puts him on, on mute, and he walks away. Is the phone still? He's like, he left for like five minutes. They go to the supervisor. He's like, there's a crazy guy. He comes <laughs> back, and he's, crazy. He's, he's in mid rant still about the Mormons <laughs> and how they're taking over the company. And it has to be, it's him, and he's got a cabal or something to stop them, and it's a thing. And that's why. He needs us to pay him the fifty million dollars that we owe him. <laughs> fifty million dollars? Yeah, it's fifty million dollars. Do you they, do you really owe this man fifty million dollars? No. no we do yeah, not. but how this the hell will that happen? Insanity across the board. <laughs> so the rest of my coworkers spent the rest of the afternoon digging into this guy's Facebook page <laughs> and stalking him. Oh, of course. And At I that said, point, you have to. Who's crazy now? You or him? Both. <laughs> yeah. Both. If you spend time like stopping. So they found out that this guy like claims that he declared in our county all of the car dealerships are his. He just like <laughs> put it on Facebook. Oh. I declare. <laughs> Therefore, it is true. Out. Therefore, it is <laughs> true. Liner's keeper. Loser's leaper. If you or not, <laughs> if the car salesman doesn't yes. show up in 15 minutes, the you car yeah. to own the dealership. Yeah. <laughs> So I was in your lot for half an hour. This guy has declared all car dealerships in the county are his. He then also... It's Facebook official. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, you cannot take that off the internet. It's books. there. It's there he, he then said a, he owns a bank. The bank had to give him a loan for like $100,000. But he wasn't going to make payments on the loan. The bank was. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. 
So the so bank gives him a loan, then has to pay off the loan. <laughs> no, it's like no. How does what? <laughs> Man, it's I'm insane. No, Paul, you. What do you expect to do, What if it works that way? <laughs> You like, make you make some Facebook guy, official. <laughs> he's, the, he's the owner of all these car dealerships. And you know, he like, owns oh, a bank, bank. He owns got us. Money. He got us. He figured it out. He, yes. he figured, he's living in 2030. <laughs> We're all over here, dimwits, you know, fighting over World War Three. He's over here like, I own everything. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> and yeah, all these companies just cut them checks at the end of the day. Yeah. He just starts up a Facebook. He goes to their Facebook page. <laughs> what what got me? Doing? I <laughs> own the car. <laughs> the, best, the best phrase he had was he, because our company, my company that I work for, because we used to work there, Tom, uh, <laughs> was family owned, and he says that I own the family. Yeah, the no, family's my bitch. He They're says mine. he's part of the family. He's in. The cousinry, and he is, he is the chairman of the cousinry. <laughs> yes. What? So the phrase that, that might be the new name of our show. The, <laughs> the chairman. The of chairman the of the cousinry. <laughs> Pull yourself in a little bit. You, you like you That's what she said. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, at work now we just walk around each other and be like. Chairman of the cousin, right? <laughs> yeah, you should have like a chairman. fucking pipe. <laughs> I'm the chairman. All of you oh my God. are my underlings. <laughs> so yeah, that's my uh, crazy I, uh, story. I fucked my cousin, and I basically go public now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to keep the bloodline pure in this company. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my God, story. that's insane. Yeah, what Thank crazy you. guy story. Oh, oh, do I have a crazy guy story? I mean, you work. Well, at, I mean, there was the one time at mm-hmm. fucking Circle K. I was. It was like my. I started this new job, and it was like my first few weeks there, and we. They were like making these the the people I worked with were making these like regular trips to fucking Circle K to pick up coffee because buying a coffee machine would be. Too cost efficient and time efficient. Too cost efficient. efficient. So we would have to go to Circle K. And I mean, they were getting, apparently, the Circle K was hooking them up free coffee, too, because they blame oh, always like, there you go. Yeah, yeah you why, could. Yeah. Why free would coffee. they buy a coffee pot if they're getting free coffee down the street? Yeah, it's right. true, you know, I guess so. I but would send every employee I had, go, go coffee free <laughs> over there. But this is, this is, uh, you know, Circle K is this. Area is bad. This whole area is just. Hey, don't get nervous on your way to get the coffee. The, the courthouse. Bring me a cup too. And you can literally like criminals just go here after they're done being released from jail. Do they suit them up in like flak jackets and helmets with a bag and just empty coffee cups? I'm like you're gonna make the run today. You got, you got this, dude. I felt like so basically going into that. I just, yes. hold on. I'm just picturing the end of Stargate. Yeah, with like yeah. the guy <laughs> running and like this fucking blows up. <laughs> That's all. Oh, coffee cup. <laughs> no. So, James Spader is still course. there in the background. <laughs> You're like James Spader. Why are you here in Lakeland? <laughs> you get nothing but crazy people out here oh, yeah. in this area. So this sur- this circle K just has crazy. Uh, this dude, because it's near the courthouse. This dude's like. Can someone can someone get the get my girlfriend out of the bathroom? I have court in twenty minutes, <laughs> and I have to get to court. And my girlfriend has locked herself in the bathroom, and like she won't come out because he won't. She won't buy him beer, or buy her beer. She won't buy her. She, she won't she's buy her to beer. Get him to buy her beer. Yeah. And she's just like making a huge scene about it. Like, oh my god, like. Yeah, you won't buy me beer. What the fuck? Like, won't come out of lock leave her, her. lock her. <laughs> yeah. I was this. I was like, dude, just leave her out and go to court. And court is like way more important than your fucking girlfriend being locked in the bathroom. Right now. If you go away, she will literally just come out eventually. And but anyway, no, that's too logical. That's that's logical thinking. This is someone who has court in twenty minutes. Logical thinking out no, the window. You're right. You're right. They made. They've, a hundred percent of the choices. <laughs> you see where he's, he's the event he has to get to, the the checkpoint in his life that he has to get to. He's not thinking clearly, obviously. So they eventually they actually get they unlock the door for this man, which was a terrible terrible choice on their part to unlock the door because the 
shit that ensued afterwards was just beyond <laughs> what comprehension. I'm literally just watching this go down from the fucking drink aisle. Like, I'm, I was about to like open, like grab a giant penis and be like, shit. I'm not going back to work. This is crazy. No, we're trying to like check out and get coffee and shit. So we go, we're just chilling there. Then they open the door. He's dragging his girlfriend out. He's dragging her. He's like, come on, I have court in 20 minutes. Dude, you said you had court in 20 minutes about, like, 10 minutes ago. So you have court in, like, 5 wow. minutes. Did you not make yeah. it? You're literally late. Like, I know you, you, you're you fucked. Uh, whatever, you're going to jail, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, so he's dragging his girlfriend out and all that shit. And then some of, the, like, I see him drag her out. That She's, like, holding on to the door. What? Still pulling her. She's like, I'm not going. Give me beer. I'm like, he's like, come on, uh. Uh, Erica or something. Come on, Erica. We gotta go. I have court. You fucking it up right now. Like he's just pissed at her. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, dude, this is what the fuck. Like, this is gonna be a daily thing. I'm not going to Circle K anymore. <laughs> no, you have to at this point. You gotta always go back. <laughs> this this is where you run a pool. Insanity. Is it gonna be better than it was the last <laughs> yeah. time? Woo! No. So. The dragging her out and like we didn't follow him out like we were, but the cops were called. <laughs> you, dude, the response time though because they were right, right there. Door. The dude was like boom. Um, well, no, actually it was pretty delayed. I'd say. <laughs> no, anyways, not that's not important because they didn't come to like later. But fucking, he's just dragging her out and then some of my coworkers come in. And I see them, and they're like, did you guys just see that person? Drag-? We're like, yeah, we just saw the whole inside thing. They're like, yeah, she's, like, hanging on to the post like a flagpole, like a flag like a flag on a pole, and he's, like, pulling her. He's like, come on, Erica, we have to go. It's time to go. What the fuck? Like, he's just pissed, dude. And they were like, yeah, he had to go to court in 20 minutes. Dude, he had to go to court, like, still, he's 20 minutes? They just freeze time in the court? They're like, no. Dude, that guy has court now. Like, I would have said, fuck that shit. I'm out, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, that's pretty funny. They were like some, they, and they looked like, they, they, like, they looked like they had to go to court. Their decision making wasn't the best. <laughs> They have been in that establishment multiple times. <laughs> they, were, they were Florida people roasting. <laughs> <laughs> Literal, yes. like, when when people talk about the definition of a Florida man, this was. <laughs> this guy was Florida this man is, and this Florida couple. Yeah. <laughs> They're just raising in the sun, doing shit tons of meth, yeah, whatever, dude. Trying to make it to court 20 minutes. Oh, <laughs> trying to make it to court 20 minutes for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's what you do when you're. <laughs> we have a comment. It goes towards Tony. <laughs> Just first off, he fuck you, there. Tony. I enjoyed my free Circle K coffee before we did finally start, start using a coffee machine. Second, I don't think they even ended making it to court because Marto PD caught up with them. Oh, but you know what? I like, the, I like to think they did. Hashtag yeah. silver oh lining. <laughs> well, thanks. For giving us the, the, the closing to that story. Oh shit! <laughs> so they, yeah, I guess they, they did get arrested. Oh my! God. <laughs> oh, so free coffee, I guess, at Circle K. Gosh, yeah, they were just funny. getting rid of what they had. <laughs> it was it was like from three days ago. Sorry, they were like we had this. Has coffee. chunks in it. <laughs> oh, that's just added flavor. Stir it up a little. Pour it in a different pot. Oh yeah, we need you to go break up the chunks of coffee machine. <laughs> The what? Got some guy sweating in it, oh, drooling oh, oh, oh. as well, just like with a like butter turning, like he's an, <laughs> like he's Who's Amish. Coffee today, man. Let me just get out your way real quick. Ah, chew. Just sneezes right. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. closing the cigarette lid. falls into it. That's a coffee. That's five dollars. That's, that's premium Florida coffee. He actually put a little meth in it too. Oh yeah. That's Spice it up a bit. Oh my god. For those of you joining us, we do have a giveaway, another HelloFresh. I just keep getting these damn things. This one's in the mail. Uh, This one's for, yeah, this one's for nine free meals. Yeah. And uh, there is a code on it, which I am covering up. Uh, But yes, you do have to be a follower in order to win. And I think we have, like, I don't know, 
One 40 minutes left on that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I think it's uh, exclamation power. point, exclamation point, HF. That's what I did. Yeah. And thank you for the follow. OBZen42. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Let me see what it is. Maybe you can win a gift card. Hey, you take you get a free meal, <laughs> hey. Or at least it's half price meal. It's a it's a half price meal. So it's a or a home meal. Any, uh, Do I have any crazy stories? Any crazy guy stories? Uh not I mean, really. Were, because at Marina, you had to see a few. Someone throw a hot dog. I haven't seen the guy that. About hot, dogs. hot dog, get your hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> the the He's uh, trying to make a living. <laughs> nothing like that. I mean, I do hear he I do hear hecklers every now and then, and one that really stands out was not this past season, but the one before. And we had a guy on our team. He struggled to make contact. I'll be nice about it, just in <laughs> case he ever watches. Uh, and there were there were two guys right below the press box. This is out in Port Charlotte where this happened. And my mic was picking up everything they said. <laughs> it, it got so bad to a point to where like, I had to turn down my crowd mic. And the general manager of the team had to go to the guys sitting there and tell them, like, listen, you guys got to cut this out. Otherwise, <laughs> we're going to kick you out of here. <laughs> You guys better chill. Out. Like they even crossed the line and like slow the heckling down. It, like it was, it got to a point they 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 did cross the line because they started talking like about his family members oh. and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I'm just like, oh my, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, serious of the college sports. And, and I was going, no, this this is this wasn't college. This was pro sports. Oh, pro and sports. Uh, I I remember like in between innings, the broadcaster for the other team comes into my booth. He's like, "Dude, can you hear those guys below us?" I'm like, "Dude, every last syllable I've heard them." <laughs> I, He's like, "Yeah, it's really bad." <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? It uh, is, yeah. So, oh, this morning. Um, but yeah, working overnights, so I just have no stories. It's just me and th- me and this other What's guy. It like and at night? <laughs> it's just dark and. Dude, it's dark, and then I start hearing shit out in the woods that are yeah, right next to us, you're and be the first yeah, it, okay. exactly, yeah, exactly. I have my exit strategy. Hey, like I hear something, I don't care if I'm fueling a truck. I'm bolting <laughs> right in my car and peeling out of there. Sorry guys, your trucks aren't filled for the night. Fuck I almost got truck, killed. Dude. Fuck a truck. Just saying, if I get a phone call from you at you know three in the morning. Tim, it's on! <laughs> oh shit, it's on. Is it on? It's Need you out here in Dade on. City. Now! Dude, it's like an hour drive. Now! <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell, but we're in front of the Pizza Hut. And, yes. Uh, Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi. They haven't played it, apparently. We're I haven't played Crazy Taxi. They haven't played the sit-down Crazy Taxi rolling thing. I chose that. Cause it's just Are you going with the arcade <laughs> one? I thought you were going with the Dreamcast version. That's the arcade one. Though they, they, I think they censored the in the Dreamcast version. They probably had to. <laughs> they were gonna say Pizza Hut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> we yeah. don't have the well, money. <laughs> they had Pizza Hut, KFC. They had a lot of brand branding in it. Oh yeah, they, they do that now. Yeah. Uh, not Pizza Hut so much, but KFC and Longhorn Chili. They got all under the same company. umbrella. Yeah. yeah, and Pizza Hut. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There's a there's a parent company. Mm. Oh, I thought you were talking about advertising and games. That's what I thought he meant at no, first, no, but no, yeah, no. now now I got what you're saying. It is exclamation point HF. That's what it is for the for the giveaway. Hello yes, yeah. I th- I remember weird food advertisements and games like that, and then um, when I played James Bond, it was like the. Not Goldeneye. Not Goldeneye. No, it was no, 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 no. It was released on the Wii. It was, uh, oh. but it was also it was the casino. Yeah, Royale yeah, or, it was the Daniel Craig one, or the oh. the one that was after that, Casino Royale. No, I think what they did was they remade Goldeneye, but with like Wii graphics. And no, no, like I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, it's not that one. It was before this. Oh, okay, okay. It was, okay. It was another James Bond. It, I think it was Quantum of Solace. Okay. They oh, did okay. That game that movie but they're just pushing like mcdonald's <laughs> yeah no no like there was a billboard Taco in the Bell. background and you went over it was orbit and gum what what why did she i was of like all things orbit. i was like yeah james bond she dirty mouth orbit and gum. <laughs> orbit and gum. Like, with all those stds he does have a dirty mouth they have the other british spokesperson like in the british company i don't know i, don't know. I just thought it was a really weird like no i agree that, that is and then i remember need for speed most wanted had burger king and there was actually like a secret Burger King mission you could find, where you had to go to all the Burger King. Most Wanted was one of the best Need for Speeds. 
Dude, I love that was a good I had, game. I got the Toyota Supra and the <laughs> Chevy Cobalt. Those are my two. Like, yeah, I remember the Cobalt was pretty good. I just love blowing through the uh, gas stations. Like, oh the, the yeah, and they have like blowing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Or like, have you? Did you ever get where you, uh, there's like the log trucks or the pipe trucks? Yeah. And you like knock into it, and it like goes into the cop or something behind you. Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> and one time I actually like. I was like going and then I did it under the truck. Like I went, nice. like I did a sick like psh, like drift under the truck and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> and and then it fell off. You could record that crap. Nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It never happened. No, no one <laughs> it's one of these Joe fish tales. Yeah. Well, and, oh man, I was able to do it. This big. <laughs> yeah, like that that drift was this big. <laughs> <laughs> it was huge. And then I would love to uh, when you blow through the fucking like. When the cops barricade yeah, yeah, yeah. the road spikes the barricade. and shit. Like <laughs> the road do, strips. The ro- yeah, the spike strips. And they do spike strips. And then they also did, like, cop cars across the barricade. Yeah. One time they did, like, at a hill, and I was popped over it. Oh, nice. But, again, another excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Here's that clip now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. We do is just film our highlights. Play video games and just, like, put now our highlights Now it's just going to be, like, we'll do a highlight segment. Mario Kart type. Bumper, yeah, what? old people style. Check this out, I was in it first was place, and that's motherfucker <laughs> blue shelled me, you son of a bitch. There is another new Super Smash Bros. in there, yeah, I mean, it was terrible. Oh, uh, yeah, oh. they tried to like reboot it like they do well, with everything. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I have Need for Speed Most Wanted, I still have it for GameCube. Oh, nice, GameCube, okay, and, but I have wow. a Wii. I do have that, uh, that capture device that we could use for the older consoles. Yeah, there we go, we could do that. I'll do, we could do that. I, have an N64 I just need a port. CD drive <laughs> to <laughs> plug into this to download the software. <laughs> With the N64 now, you can buy an actual like comfortable controller that isn't like this wonky <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> didn't they, the they split it right? And they put it on two. Uh, yeah, two yeah, yeah. They made it like a, a regular. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you gotta give it to them to begin with. That was, it was I, innovative. But as a kid, you knew how to fucking PlayStation use it. had to. Yeah. Nowadays, you're like, what it's is like, this? Well, no. What, what, the original PlayStation didn't. It have, did not. It did not have the Dual Shocks. It had two D-pads, though, didn't it? There, no, it had the D-pad, but it also had just the square, triangle, circle, X, and oh, the R1, or the ones and twos. I did. They did make the Hammerhead controller, which is they took off like the extra pieces and made it more like closer. Ergonomic. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. It, they, it, still had, it was like still like a single thing, but you could also like hold on to the side and it was a little bit easier to like get to the D-pad. Well, I think Nintendo was trying to make it more, the controller more, uh, like their, their, what became the Wii controller. So you have a single device, because the trigger was here, your thumbstick was here. Yeah. So you used it primarily I one hand. I didn't think about that. Because they always had the Z button in the center. And right. It was mm-hmm. like that. So you kind of used it with just one hand. But the GameCube, that was like a, a phenomenal controller, though. Like, I yeah. loved Every GameCube. time I looked at the GameCube controller, I was just like, what is this? That and you have this those, giant and button with a tiny, tiny one underneath it. Discs <laughs> you're using. Oh, dude, those are cool, though. They're like cute little discs with games on it. <laughs> yeah, the, the, no one's ever done the little mini disc thing. Yeah, because yeah. it was a terrible idea. <laughs> well, it's a novelty now. It's a novelty idea now. No, now it might work with the millennials. <laughs> because we've never done this before. No, I, I, I And they do. They retro their little fucking Super Nintendo and the Nintendo. With only ten games. I don't like that. I, I'd rather have the real thing. And I have the N64, so I don't... Right, but okay. yeah, trying to find a game is what, three hundred dollars? No, they're cheap, dude. You can really? find retro games pretty cheap nowadays. Huh. Yeah, if you go to eBay or I Game Attic, because I know like I I have an old I know what you're talking Nintendo, about Nintendo, and if I wanted a copy of say Super Mario Bros. Three, I'm looking at twenty bucks. Oh uh, yeah, okay, so like the the really good titles, yeah. Right. <laughs> Some of the really good titles do go for a lot, but, but now I mean now I've got a Switch, not really now it's more of a collector's item yeah to have a cartridge mm-hmm. yeah yeah that, and that's true and then but that's even driving the prices down now that you know there's emulators and there's other ways to access the game so people can't actually like gouge the fuck out of you for like an old ass game first off and and not to dog the, on anyone uh, the that gold, collects the, the gold case zelda yeah yeah it's like a hundred bucks <laughs> and, and not to dog on anyone that collects but to 
sit there and like charge that fucking much for a game that really sucked actually like the <laughs> controls sucked like let's be honest goldeneye if you play it nowadays you fucking oh, yeah. you just don't get it <laughs> I, I can't until um, now that they have that controller i bet it'd be a lot better and you know make it more worth getting but you just can't you can't tell me that you you would pay that much to relive a childhood thing well, only to like know that it, you're not, not gonna play it that often right <laughs> i mean i went ahead and got an emulator for Ocarina of time yeah and found out that yes once you have two thumbsticks the game becomes so much better and Link's not an <laughs> asshole and just jumps off the <laughs> for no reason. There was, yeah. Oh, I was actually... Oh, let me spin the camera and find out. Yeah, I was half off this cliff. But then comes the... Did you ever watch the uh, Year After video on this? On the Ocarina of Time? No. And so he actually talked about how that was not the best Zelda game. How actually Link's Awakening... Or... The one on the Game Boy, I think. The first one. Link's Awakening. No, it's not. It wasn't no. Link's Awakening. It was. Uh, no, that's the one they just remade. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways, Zelda. there's too many of them. It was in a, like, they're all the, they're Zelda. all the exact blah, 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 blah. same. He said this one was good, but to talk about like, the Ocarina of Time, like where his strikes and stuff were, were because a lot of the boss battles and stuff, like the, like it was, or, like, it was a lot of rinse and repeat. It was like right. Hold Z, trigger, you know, like hit walk the, around, hit the ball back. Wait, hit, hit, wait, hit, hit, wait, hit. And then if you get in there, you can like really fuck like someone up, you know, be like, <laughs> but you know, I agree. The same. But it still has some of the. But it do it does have like some like super just iconic looking bosses like bo- dude the bongo boss that was my favorite right and the ghost ship ride and like doing that figuring that whole thing out like it was like when I was a kid that shit was like. Boom, 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 boom. My little kid brain couldn't handle it. Like, you kidding me? I can go into the well and then just a boat I can ride? What the? Dude, I was just having the greatest time of my life. But now, like, going back to as an adult, that's why, I, and it's, like, the reason I talk about it like this is because, like, the amount of money people charge for that cartridge right. is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. Because it's, you but know. But, yeah, it's that, it's that little bit of nostalgia. I'm sorry. I like that game. Oh, it's, it's a great don't, game. Don't give me, don't give me that. I love that game. It bosses. Like yeah. you say, the little, whatever he was, Wudong. The, the Bongo the guy. Yeah. There's the, the <laughs> Dudong. And then when you get to the dragon later on when you're an adult. You oh, yeah. You're playing Whack-A-Mole. That and game was... Do you remember uh, the, con- the... I don't know if, if you remember, but the controversy behind that fire level? No. It was like, they had like chanting in the background. <laughs> and then the oh, Muslim right. community took offense to it. And then they had it taken out of the game. But I had a cartridge that still had the. I remember it had Well, it's like that whole hot coffee with GTA. Oh my god! Simulated blowjob! Who cares a fuck? It's two computer pixels. <laughs> There's way worse out there. <laughs> I mean, you don't even see any. But my child! <laughs> is murdering people in the streets in the game and stealing cars and running over people. How don't give it to your kids. Simulated sex. Okay. Yeah. How about don't give your teenager rated M game? <laughs> For mature audiences. Uh, right. Uh, it's right there. I, yeah, Thanks, no, Tipper I, Gore. I really think that we should take the labels off of most things and just let what happens happen. <laughs> that, I mean, well, let evolution sort it out. Yeah, I mean, stop coddling some people because... Yeah, they deserve to be hit by a truck because they decided to walk out of the street. <laughs> Not paying attention because they're looking at their phone. Yeah, Mr. Right. Elitist over here. <laughs> no, don't look at your phone while you're walking Only across the street. Survive. What? <laughs> no. the, in my parking I'm, lot at work, uh, there are now signs that say this. Do not look at, at the phone. Do not look at the phone yeah. while walking across the street. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? That like, I sense. literally, anytime I, I cross the street, I always look for it. Because people always, like, harp on how, like, Looking no, both ways is like important in my life. <laughs> I'm I'm terrified to have I don't my kids about walk it down the street to go to school because, oh my God, some dumbass. You've seen so many videos of, like the the kid who ran into the police car, while playing Pokemon Go. Yes. <laughs> he no, the police oh, car yeah, you're pulled about the guy over, playing. and the cop looks over and just hops over the back of the car. His dash cam just <laughs> side of the police car. Jesus. Kid God. jumps out, runs back. He's like. Oh, yo, man, I'm so sorry. I was trying to catch that. I was playing Pokemon Go, dude. He's like, no, I, was, I was looking at my phone. I was playing Pokemon. 
And you're just like, are you kidding? You almost murdered a cop and somebody else because he was at a traffic stop and you were looking at your phone. Yeah. Stupid piece of shit. See, that, that's, I mean, that's just people not, like, putting their phones down for just drive. Like, so you're driving, man. Like, you don't. Let's make automated cars faster. Let's get that out there. Let's do it. Automated cars? I, I want know. to be able to get up in the morning, walk to my automated car, get in, take a half hour nap <laughs> on my way to work. That does sound amazing. Right? And you're yeah. like, oh, I'm here. I'm a good power nap. I'm ready to do this. Then you're just like, but how did it park? <laughs> well, I'm saying. Do they park themselves? It, I don't know. They can, but yeah. I'm saying it wouldn't go that far. You get but control back. Oh, okay. When you're like five minutes. So that should be a function where like a cattle prod comes out when you're napping, just <laughs> hits you, and you're like, oh god, okay. Lexus has <laughs> the self-parking. They have that self-parking thing. Right, it is a, it's a thing, but I don't give a shit about self-parking. It would like parallel self driving. For you. Self-driving, that's all I really want, so I can nap on my way to and from work. That'd be pretty awesome. Or hear a long ass car ride, watch a movie. <laughs> yeah, they like I remember uh, as a kid watching like this. It was like a concept movie about like if they were to do automated cars, how would it be? Well, the one problem right now is <coughs> having everything being on a grid. Yeah, but you don't be need on a single that. grid. You got the car. What they do is they use radar now, and it just pings and follows the car in front of it. So if that car slows down, your car slows down. If that car stops, your car stops. That's how you don't need it. That's how the assisted driving function right. works. Yeah. That car speeds up. Your car speeds up a little bit to make sure, as long as it's monitoring the same, but cruise control option you set for your speed. But for it to go like more like a mainstream, it would have all cars would have to be automated. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't like trust that. people <laughs> to not try to fucking kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing is like a computer has to evaluate humans. And that oh. And humans are inconsistent. <laughs> I was going to work the other day. I was thinking about how, and I just watched uh, Commander Salvation, which isn't that bad of a movie. It's better than part three. Yeah. And it's it's always two, one, and then three. three. Four. Part goes five. No, like two, one, four, and then three, then I don't three. know where three. to put the other ones after that. Yeah, I don't care about the Genesis. I don't care about the one we just made. I Genesis was it. pretty bad. Wait, how many Terminators? Too many now. Yeah. I think we're up to six. I was only up to two. Five or six? I, I don't remember. Because Salvation was four, Genesis was oh, yeah. five. Wait, wait, didn't, wasn't there another one where he actually goes back in time? Did you really just say that? No, <laughs> it, it, wasn't, wasn't there, there a Terminator where he goes back in time? No, a fucking Christian Bale one where... <laughs> that was Salvation. No, that was it. That was, he was only in Salvation. I don't there, there was nothing after that. that. No. They were supposed to be, but then Salvation didn't do as well as they thought it would. And, and he freaked out upset. And he the, yeah. Else. You're messing with my fucking life. <laughs> Come on, though. I mean, you're talking about whatever. Neither here nor there. Uh, okay, I thought they actually the movie was longer. Like they actually showed coyotes going back in time. What was the whole purpose? No, of no, no. Any more Terminators? Money. So here's my thing. Right? <laughs> They're always like, "Oh, it's a war! It's a war!" So I sat there and thought, "No, how would Skynet do it now?" It's oh, because what is Skynet going to be? They all of a sudden had military style drones the terminators that's what you're saying because as far as we're understanding it it flipped the switch and all of a sudden these hundreds of millions of <laughs> murderous <laughs> robots yeah, show yeah. up and killed everybody how how did it get to that point well because it became self-aware and it said i need a defense system i guess so and so us, right yeah and then why if it nuked us it wins because that's a hundred thousand year winter, right? <laughs> so it didn't nuke everybody or everywhere. Is it lobbed one or two? Is that how Skynet works? Because <laughs> in the movies it shows everybody going dead. off, yeah. Well, that's just like. So here's my that's thought process, aids. right? Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's, well, everybody's dead. Skynet it's now, sci fi, Tim. <laughs> let's say it does take over the nuclear missile silo. Why would it launch all of them when it would just launch one? Hit Washington. Before we know what's happening, boom, Washington is exploded. It now goes, hey, I own your missiles. I will do it again. Here are my demands. Um, it, it didn't have demands. It's, it's, its mission was to just wipe out humanity. Right, but again, so it why would it have demands? Long game. 
Because again, then how did these all the how did those robots build themselves? They had to have somebody, people, to build the first factory to build the Terminators. Listen, when I don't think those, James Cameron thought people, it through, okay? Why would those people help with those Although, things? did you see at CES yeah. this year, that I think it was Samsung, they announced like an exoskeleton for like exercising? That's the start of it, man. Well, I'm also pretty sure that they had like these little fake robot thingies as well that looked like well, humans. The US military has been doing that for quite some time. There's actually a video you can watch of a dude getting into an exoskeleton, but the only problem is the power supply was super Dude, you haven't seen the robot that <laughs> but can, like, can fucking jump over a barrel and shoot a shotgun? At the a dog one, right? No. Oh, the no, dog it's, one, it's, It stands upright, holds a gun, <laughs> runs, jumps off a barrel, and jump shots a target, and then, like, just fucking right. jumps down. And then it, like, knows how to, like, steal guns from you, or, like, if you attack it, it'll, like, defend itself and shit. Like, it's so chappy? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's chappy. No, but that, so what I was thinking was that, yeah, now they would, the only reason there would be that many military terminators to start was if it was a drone program like our drones flying around now it's computer simulation so you're sitting there and you would have a unit of guys in a little military video game console mm. setting controlling a terminator then it hijacks the terminators and boom okay now you can't stop it yeah that would pretty much have to be it that would but that would again could they mash the controls though i mean that would take well i guess they could. if it hijacks the controls and kicks them out and they could just destroy but then it's only America that has this problem, because there's not other countries that have. So well, does it nuke everything they else? To, they would have to. Yeah. But then he tells it. us there was resistance around the world. Well, of course there would be. How did the, the, so they didn't kill everybody? Right. But if it was to kill everybody, which is why, why they had the foot shoulder soldiers nuke everything. Maybe they did, and just a couple of people with mutant eyes have survived Where now. are they at? They're well, underground dude, in their bunkers. Doomsday preppers. Look yeah. No, clearly everybody knows. Oh, the only doomsday <laughs> preppers survived. That show doomsday preppers. Only like 20 people. Survived. Like 20 and people they, live. That's all it was. They're starting all these armies that fight <laughs> the Terminators. Yeah. Don't, don't ask how they're communicating without the Terminators intercepting it. Right. They're, like, they're the people who's like, ah, who's laughing now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. But that's my point. Those. It doesn't make any sense to, to have it go that way. So now it would just control the porn. Yeah. It'll just make we'll just have robot porn. Everybody no, would that be. would be Doomsday. Yeah. That's the new Doomsday. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Skynet would come in and just go, no more porn. People would anarchy in the streets. <laughs> yes. Fires everywhere. <laughs> Murder would happen. It would be like the Purge. Yes, it would absolutely be the Purge. The purge? Yes. That's not anything. Isn't that movie That's about That's what would like start it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's like just chaos on the screen, screen for one day. For one but day. he's saying it would be all day. Yeah. All, the time. all day, every day. So it's not the purge. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's it would be awesome. like the purge. <laughs> yeah. The culling. That episode of Rick and Morty when they go to the weird thing. No. The Cronenberg planet. Where they I create the Cronenberg planet. planet. <laughs> the people were. <laughs> Isn't that a comedy? Kind of it's like comedy, right? Like it's got pickle rick. Just because you don't like a show, yeah. don't mean I'm rich. You're right, we didn't give you shit for watching Criminal Minds for so long. Yeah, oh, right. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Well, I mean, like, I like, I liked it, but it was just like, it, dude, it was just like had me like looking over my shoulder all the time. Cause then it's like, like you think really psychos everywhere, yeah? Like you, dude, like, <laughs> and some nerdy guys can come and be like, "Well, this is how the murder happened." Oh, look, fingerprints everywhere. I've never watched the show, so I don't know. If it was filed. CSI, they would just be like, "There's a lot of semen in his beard." Like <laughs> <laughs> he was either a stripper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Seriously, if you if you watched the like first two seasons of CSI, yeah. every every crime scene was like check for semen. It's like what the hell? Like th- is semen. this literally how every crime scene is? Excuse well, me, <laughs> check for semen, yes. officer. I, Looks like I he was stabbed in the back of the head with the back of a hammer. I'm really really am. I'm scared. True. Every time I go on a road trip for the <laughs> team I work for, I'm just like, uh, you guys get the yes, blowtorch. Don't, <laughs> yeah. don't check for semen. <laughs> check for semen. I need. Have you checked for semen here? 
I bet if you do, we'll find out who did it. <laughs> I watched this one. Well, they found a semen sample on the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I mean, in the right light. I could see. Well, like, we found semen samples of the Statue of Liberty. Okay, hold on. There was, there was a little vial that's in there? <laughs> be that be it as it may, it was a, there was a sex scene. But at the Statue of Liberty, did the Statue, Statue of Liberty, Liberty become cognizant and start walking around the city of New they, York like in had, Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> Mythbusters yeah. 2 on top of the torch of the Statue of Liberty, and then they were like, We found semen samples at the time. There was one, they found a semen sample. <laughs> It it's every episode. That's yeah, always the scene that they yeah. always jerk it off with it. Yeah. It was the oh, underage son. And they're like, oh my god, he killed her. And they had to have a talk. Because I guess the first thing he grabbed to clean up was the bloody cloth that was the murder something something. It was the murder rag. Blah blah blah. <laughs> the murder rag. So yeah, his the DNA was, was all over that rag. And He's the murderer. That'd be a hell of a way to be found guilty that's something you didn't do. Right. <laughs> what scares me is because I watch all those <laughs> forensic type shows where they're like, nah, that's all like the, the documentaries are like, nah, that's a forensics is actually just garbage. <laughs> Half yeah, of the, what you get convicted for <laughs> is garbage. Yeah. yeah, it's just to keep people in the system. <laughs> <laughs> for their privatized business. <laughs> They're um, just not wrong. <laughs> and at one point, I am terrified to go into, for any reason, or get near the prison governmental judgment system. I try to stay system. out of prison as much as possible. Yeah, me too. No, but I'm saying. I'll stay out of the circle, okay? <laughs> stay out of circle. Well, right, out but there could have been, for some reason, oh, somebody's like, hey, it looked like that guy. And then next thing, Tony fits the profile. <laughs> And he's getting arrested because he doesn't have any. Speaking of which, I've seen Tony's alibi. picture on a lot of things lately. <laughs> I'm blowing up the Pizza Hut from Crazy, <laughs> the crazy Taxi. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I got the. They, Audit that out later. Instead of having the $4.99 lunch buffet, they had the $5.99 lunch buffet, and I was pit. <laughs> and then they were like, dollar pitches, uh, the $2. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's pitches. <laughs> um, so coming from that, how far are we on the giveaway? Oh, yeah, there is a giveaway. <laughs> there is a giveaway still going on. It has eleven minutes left. Oh, eleven wow. minutes on giveaway! Exclamation yeah. point H F. H is hello. F is in friend. <laughs> or fresh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> However you want to do it. <laughs> Hello finger. Right? Hello finger. Hollow finger. I was going to do the whole, you know, music, you know, for some. It ain't working. Like an ad? Yeah. It was like a <laughs> kind of a <laughs> giveaway. <laughs> 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 I thought he was going to say some more about it, but, you know, I got did not. I did not. I mean, it's in the description. Nine free meals. Nine. Boom. There you go. Oh, Including no, free shipping. Free meals. Yeah, That's free shipping. Free. You can yeah. beast on the Well, let me read the fine print right. that's on the back. <laughs> you know. Only one offer per household. Well, yeah. For new customers only. So just make a dummy account if you already have one. Yeah, so you Offer you valid with purchase of two or four person box. Cannot be applied toward one off delivery boxes. $33 discount will apply towards your first box. $30 discount towards the second. 10 for the third and fourth boxes. That's still pretty good. Yeah, because it only comes out to about. 30 bucks for a weekend's worth of meal for two people? Yeah. That's and pretty awesome. Some yeah. Delicious meals. Oh, yeah. I had one the other day, too. I don't know if you saw that post on Facebook. No. It was. Have you specifically watched Oh, yeah. Come on, man. I make good food. When you put food pictures up, it's like, nah, delete that guy. <laughs> but, uh, what was it? It was like chicken with uh, uh, maple honey and some chili peppers oh, on there. Okay. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> Some asparagus and, ma and uh, mashed potatoes. I think they were sweet potato mashed potatoes. Yeah, okay. that's what they were. Nice. Fucking good. Yeah. Felt really rough coming out the next morning, but, you know, it's all right. Well, okay, so, you know, in the directions it says to taste, or uh, uh, apply chili flakes to taste. You're like, so, ah, no, 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 no. Oh, that was my girlfriend. I was like, I was like hey, can you make the... 
<laughs> yeah. And my, you know, my girlfriend was taking care of that part. My girlfriend's making. Was it the Christmas episode? Yeah, I think it is. So my girlfriend was making that part of it, which just making the uh, the maple syrup part of it, because you're supposed to add the chili flakes to that and mix it together. And I even say, like, mix in chili flakes to taste. And she just goes, like, shrugs her shoulders, pours the whole packet. And I look at it, I'm like, do you pour all of it in? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, are you trying to kill me? <laughs> It's yeah. Be on Apparently, <laughs> oh, the next morning, dude. Don't? No, I love spicy food, but she doesn't. And so she's like, "You like spicy food?" I'm like, "Not that spicy." Like, <laughs> not I don't want to feel at both spicy. ends. <laughs> yeah. Feel it going in the same way it came out. Pretty much. It was rough. Like I woke up the next morning shaking, and I was like, "Why am I shaking?" <laughs> <laughs> it was all just like brewing up. Oh my god. Fucking <laughs> hell, you. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the host, Mr. Buckles. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. More viewers with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, we still have like 10 minutes left of this. 10 minutes. Yeah. So you better oh, still have the giveaway. Exclamation point giveaway. HF. We'll try to be more lively as we get more subscribers. Yes. Because Tony might do a handstand. I'm might. Tony will might. shave his beard. No. <laughs> He'll at least trim it. <laughs> trim it. I'm probably going to trim it anyways, but if you do subscribe, I'll trim it. And I'll say it was for you. Please subscribe. <laughs> you yeah. Mail, mail, yeah, mail clippings out. Buy our shirts. I think we've uh, our gone into. Cannot <laughs> <laughs> um, you, can, you can deep fry a shirt. Deep fry shirts. Yeah. And send them to us so we can feed our families. Yeah. They go hungry every night. <laughs> Please. Oh my God! It's That's it's that time of the year for right. another SPCA make you cry commercial. By the way, every morning I gotta watch these damn things whenever I'm doing my paperwork, and it's like <laughs> the weather's getting colder, and so are your animals. It just shows like shivering dogs <laughs> in the cold. woods, and it's like, oh my God! If you're cold, yeah, they're cold. yeah. Bring them like, in. What the like I don't need this right now. I don't need this in my <laughs> life. I'm trying to do work, and you're fucking no. making me cry here. Yeah, then you get Sarah McLaughlin out of nowhere, and she's no, like, oh. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. I know it. <laughs> Fucking... You remember Coney 2012? 2012? What? Coney 2012. Oh, yeah. That Man. That you might have been... That lasted weird. for, like, two weeks. It lasted for oh, two weeks. Coney... Anybody remember yeah, Coney 2012? It was, like, an African warlord or something like that, wasn't he? I don't know. Something was, like that. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. I think he died at some point. When's this no one knows. Nobody actually knows what this guy yeah. was doing because he took all the money and then was stripped naked down Hollywood Boulevard or some fucking place in LA and had like a mental breakdown because people were attacking him over the money because he like didn't use it to do anything that he said. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think we're thinking and ran. I think we're thinking of two different things here. The Coney twenty twelve? No, he the guy that did it that ran it? He fucking freaked oh, out. Oh, he ran it. Okay, ran okay. I thought you meant I thought you meant the actual Coney no, guy. I, mean, I was Coney, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Joseph Coney is a warlord that okay. picked up Africa just Okay, that was okay, all true. okay. But he, the, this guy that collected oh, money, so did absolutely he was, nothing. He was trying to set up a like, GoFundMe type. Yes, yeah, and he's just okay. a scam. And he basically yeah, okay, said, "Penis, okay. goodbye." <laughs> <laughs> Penis, that is all. And they just boarded up shop. See ya. Like it was later. A blockbuster. Isn't the there still one blockbuster remaining? Uh, actually, I think there is. It's in uh, Alaska. Oh, we should go to Alaska. I think there is a. a Standalone blockbuster left, and it's in Alaska. No, I think the it's last down, blockbuster. Actually. That one closed too. I think it did. It does have a Twitter account. <laughs> yeah. I think it might. Ah, uh, it did close March thirty first in two thousand nineteen. Oh, sorry, Alaska, if you're ever watching last this. Last year. Mm -hmm. so maybe we just really missed it. It was in Oregon, Bend, it. Oregon. Oh, close. No, there was there was <laughs> one in Alaska still though. It was it was like the it maybe was, that's maybe it was one of the remaining few. Yeah. All, all because they thought home services for rentals wouldn't work. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and now they're just like, well, that was a bad idea. They tried so uh, hard there at the end. They tried so hard. They, they, they did they, the blue box. Mm -hmm. They did the fucking... Uh, they tried to do the mail thing, yeah. mailing requests. Oh, man. Blockbuster. What, I wait, miss wait, those Friday wait, nights. You, you would just go to there for like 30 minutes and not even rent anything. You just yeah. look at the boxes... And then you'd be like, oh, this movie oh. looks cool. Look at the back and realize <laughs> there was nothing left. The decline of Blockbuster. The decline of Blockbuster? 
man. I'm sorry it's I funky. interrupted you. It's no, no, it's, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, when you go finally you get that video game you've been looking for. Yes. Oh, oh, you're right. And you only get one weekend to beat it. Yeah. You're like, hey. So you're you up 24 7, like, yes. eyes, bloodshot, and they, cross because you're trying to stay awake. You the game, but then they try to impose some crazy video out of it about it. 10. Oh, yeah. No. I'm staying up. Oh, 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 the worst. 4 a.m. Oh. The worst was uh, the way my setup was in my room. I have the switch that turns on the outlet and turns it off. Oh. Well, I'm in the middle of a game. My mom leaves the room and flips it down, not knowing what was going to happen. Oh. Why do I had it? I'd been playing it for like four hours and hadn't saved. Oh. <laughs> At that point, I was like, "Well, there's no point going back because I'm just oh. I'm not going to play this over again." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this game. Break it over my knee. Oh my god! I remember yeah. having yeah. like just I that unsettling so feeling games, of oh. So many <laughs> games and they were all terrible. I remember. Go to save, but as we were saving, he's like, ah, push the button. I was like, oh, no, we were so far in the game. Oh my uh, god. So for the original PlayStation, I had like a mega memory card. I I forget what it's called, but it was like way larger than the one that came with the PlayStation. Right. But I never figured out how to get like the extra storage to work. Like, it would only be the original amount, but then it was like, oh, you got to do this, this, and this. And I would follow the directions to a T, and it would never... Uh, yeah. I had, like, a mega memory card for it. Oh, like a fat-ass memory card. Yeah. Oh. Like, it l looked like it, but also had, like, an additional, like, top portion of it. <laughs> it had, like, a one, digital readout. I had the one for the Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, like, you hooked in the bottom of uh, the... The rubble pack? Oh, yeah, I yeah. That you could put on. No, there was also like yeah, a memory card. There's a rubble pack, and then you would put the memory card in the rubble pack. Yeah. So you basically had yeah. like this going on <laughs> yeah. in the back of your controller. Uh, dude, and it made it weigh like 20 pounds. It's like, Jesus. Nintendo you try loves their attachments. Yeah. I don't get it. Did you, did you guys ever see man. like GameStop <laughs> when the fucking Wii was released? Uh, like, uh, I think like, I stopped. No, that's not true. Uh, the first Wii, I think, that was live around the block. Local at the local well, GameStop and Walmart. No, I'm talking about like maybe this is maybe like after two two years of it, of it being out. Okay. And looking at the GameStop shelves where they had, dude, there's so dude, many attachments. fucking attachments. <laughs> there was like 50 different types of guns, a sword and shield for Zelda, dope. a fucking <laughs> little kiss of that one, the Skyward Sword, I right. think. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then like tons of the sports attachments for. So those made no sense either. Half of them made no sense because it was like a bat, a racket, and it was yeah. like, why, why would the I same want damn a thing. huge ass <laughs> piece of shit on the end of it just so to I could hit my feel, yeah. to give you the real feel so you could hit your TV with the it? Cool, like, the coolest one, though, was the steering wheel for Mario Kart. The steering wheel was, that was I, awesome. I'll give that, the steering wheel was yeah. like a, a good way to like, and it was like, cool, well, it was nice. It was, because it, my dad loved giving me shit. So he would always he fucking would love the Wii because it's <laughs> literally all gimmick. So I remember for one year for Christmas I got the uh, driving. Uh, it would hook into like the sixty four uh, controller port, but it was a driving pedal Still action pedal, yeah. driving. But the thing had stopped at like this far, so you go click, click. I'm like, <laughs> how about? This is it? This is as far as you That's can as go. As far as it turns. That's so a man, sensitive steering so wheel, you're man. Playing, uh, fucking Mario Kart, and you're trying to make that turn. It goes click, nah, and you just slide, just slide off the Rainbow wall. Road, and you die. I'm like, what do you? No, you gotta keep going. This is a U-turn. U-turn. <laughs> Hairpin. I yeah. can't make it. Just so the shit like that. I played with it once. I'm like, nah, get but this dude, garbage the, out of here. But then the Wii steering wheel actually felt like it, it had a good steering wheel feel mm. to it. Like it was like. A Perfect, you know. Yeah, you know what? You can turn it 190 degrees. It didn't matter. I also like, <laughs> remember the zapper. Yeah. Fuck 180. I said 190. Remember the zapper? The thing with Link's cross. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I used to fucking wreck at Link's <laughs> cross road training. I was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I like figured out how to like clear the whole level and get all like accurate shots and everything. I was like, damn, I'm so good at this fucking game. It's a shame it doesn't translate to the real Too world. Too bad. It's not an actual skill I can use. Oh, God. And then that's how I felt about the Sony, though. Oh. Sunk so many hours into that game. Yes. 
Was Remember that one night we played uh, rock band for like sorry. four hours? Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> and I had fucking blisters <laughs> on my hands from the drums. We were drinking. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. No, dude, I couldn't play the drums in rock band. I can play actual drums, but playing rock band drums, I couldn't do it. I <laughs> think that would be like the only one that's translatable to the real world. It is, but it isn't, because it's just, it's just hitting the colors. Right. That, that's what throws people off. Yeah. Like, if people had an actual drum set from them, they'd be like, oh, this is what you do, but that's not how the real yeah, setup just sitting, is. Just yeah. seeing a drum set, you're like, uh, you know, you just play. Mm -hmm. But when you're, like, well, you're, you're trying, trying to watch to like, and do at the same time. And, uh, just hand -eye coordination. That's another thing we need. They should just make a game where it's, like, it's like that, but it's, m it's not a music game. It's, like, <laughs> you have to... Crank the wheel at a certain <laughs> <laughs> With a, the wheel and a hamster carpentry. game? <laughs> it's, a, it's, an entire, it's an entire game where you're a carpenter. And all oh, the you tools are... Oh, my God. Oh, like a blacksmith? <laughs> you know what, though, Tom? These may games will probably sell a couple hundred thousand copies. A Wii game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add it to the Wii game gimmick. So uh, listen, listen. If Heroes is claiming this as intellectual look, property, yeah, if, if Nintendo can yes. make can make games based off of cardboard boxes with the, the no. with the labos, <laughs> you can make. Not I got that. no. I'm sorry. That's great marketing. I'm like, you know what? Fuck them. Make it cardboard. They'll <laughs> buy that shit. I promise. I promise you. They want to do ARs. I think. Too. But you know, you know, you know, the guys like, are we sure about this? Yes. <laughs> It's just like the leftover yeah. boxes that they got from ordering their parts. So it's like, ah, what else did they get? More yeah. than playing with the shit that you bought them on Christmas? The box it came in. Yes. Sell them the box again. And then, <laughs> and then if you got cat <laughs> colors on it. And then if you're done with, with the, the labo. the controller inside of it. And then if you're done with the labo, you're just like, oh, I'm through with this. And you have cats, you know, then your cats can play with it. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck it is about cats and boxes, but it's a thing. Dude. It makes no sense. True. The yeah. box thing just gets me. The, those are actually the boxes from all the unsold Wii U's. <laughs> the Wii U's, the Wii U's, yeah. They're like, uh... Like, you, un you unbox and all of a sudden, like, you see a Wii U box in there. You're like, wait, did I get a Wii U? It's like, oh, yeah, it comes through with your Labo. Well, where's my Labo? Just take the Wii U out of the box. <laughs> That's it. Just roll the Wii U yeah. away. <laughs> Use it as a paperweight. I never got to play much Wii U. Like, I, my friends had it, and Smash was fun on it, and then playing... I didn't play anything else. I only played it as a place. I oh, come to the realization that now any Nintendo product is a party type product. Yeah, yeah. And you, you need you a group of people. You need to have friends yes. to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a Nintendo console, you have to have friends. <laughs> Don't have any friends. So. so you get a PS4 or an Xbox. That's how yep. it works. Or a PC. Yeah. Or your friends are all online and they listen in and out of the way. And you're actually not really just these people that you play games. Acquaintances, yes. It's like the guild. <laughs> That's what it is. You're never allowed to meet in real life. It's a good show. It is a good show. I need to watch that again. Hello Fresh. Uh, oh, it's over. No one entered. No one it. won. We'll do it again. Oh, <laughs> I mean, this this expires on uh, March 31st, so we got some time. Okay. Yeah. No one entered the giveaway. No one entered the giveaway. My Sons of bitches. I don't know. My we didn't get a follower, though. Hey. I'll take works. it. Thanks for following. He said he, uh, he, said he entered. Beep boop pop. No, he didn't. Did he? I don't know. He told me I'm going to wear the, the HelloFresh gift card. Well, no one entered. I can tell you that much. Oh, he's like, oh, we got to follow these guys? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah, you got to be a follower to win. He followed. He, he followed. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, see, look. Nothing in there. Oh, well. Finish out yeah. the rest of the form. He did not. He did not. It's kind of like when you call a radio station and you're like, yes, I won tickets, and you hang up right away without giving your name and information. <laughs> What's our view count, Jason? Five viewers for this one, yeah. Yeah. We're I think, up, baby. Uh, yeah. Here comes the money. Money, money, <laughs> money, money. <laughs> Tim hurts himself at the very end of it. So, no. So, did anyone, okay, we, this is our first one of the new year. I just yeah. realized this. Yeah. Did anyone here make a resolution? Yes, to not make a resolution because it doesn't matter anyway. True. That's it really doesn't. Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, I just have my usual yeah. goals. That I, I try to make it don't yeah, drink any more good. soda, and you know, I, that it's didn't last. The back <laughs> there, you know. 
Look, we're all gonna die. I want to do more projects. Like, so we're we're all gonna die from Skynet launching its nukes and wiping off everyone the face of the earth. So uh, build a quarter pipe. Like one for the yeah. Although I want to know, you know, to continue that conversation, what is Skynet's goal after eliminating humanity? Is it going to branch out to other planets? Right, that would have to be a thing, right? Yeah. So hold on, you need the people, you need a workforce. So again, you nuke a city, you hold the government hostage. Do you need a workforce though? I mean, you already have the government with like its. What are they doing with those people in the self? cages in three? Weren't they a workforce? They're just rounding them up and using them for food, Why I guess. Why would you round them up? Bait. Food for what? Who? <laughs> because Tim, they had they, to. They were baiting. That, yeah. They were baiting them. They were just yeah. like, we're just gonna get these. We're maybe, gonna have prisoners, but we're gonna make you guys come get them. May, maybe, maybe, you. maybe it's kind of it's morbid. It's putting them all into a box like a chicken thing, and instead of cutting off heads, like it's just this Which giant compressor coming right? down slowly, and people are just getting squashed. They turn them into goop, and it's robot food. That's the Terminator yeah. <laughs> where Skynet is. What? Is that every Terminator? No. I mean, it's it's, one, I it's, it's sort of Genesis, I guess, because... Oh, it's, it's it, the nanobots. Yeah, it was so stupid. It's so stupid. Nanobots? Yeah. But I was always thinking... So like, stupid. Anyway, right. I think we should end with nanobots. Yeah. Because what the fuck... We can't end with that poor taste in our mouth, though, of Genesis. We gotta think of something else. Oh, it's a uh, bad movie. So my thought was, we only know the story from Kyle Reese's point of view when he came back in two or one, right? That's wait, 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 wait. the mythos we were supposed to be that John Connor is the savior of humanity. But that's only as far as Kyle Reese knows when he jumps back. Two seconds later, John Connor could be dead. Well, see, here's the thing. That's where the newest Terminator they just to totally shat all over the first four or five movies well, and yeah. started its own thing because... They have to. Because where... We've been told the entire time John Connor is the savior of humanity. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate that. I just realized you were putting your hand behind my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where John Connor is the savior of humanity, but now for the new one, John Connor dies in the very first scene, and now the savior of humanity is some character who's like this 16 year old girl with no charisma. Yeah, that's and how it's all being, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, again, my whole thought process was if there's, if Skynet is nuking everybody, mm -hmm. this should be like Book of Eli type. Book of Eli. Yeah. Except you never, you don't see people with fucking shaky disease because they're only eating human beings, because that's the only food they can find. Well, it's because they have plenty of canned beans, Tim. <laughs> plenty of canned beans canned to go around, beans, and they're eating, they're eating rats and, and watching TV sets with fire in it. But he, okay, so then here we go again. Skynet nukes the entire world. Okay, you've got some populations it's a little pockets scattered. of people right. yeah. but they're not they're not having a military presence <laughs> true. they're not and they're like oh it's a militia they had to have years to develop <laughs> yeah. into that and then Skynet would just go nuke <laughs> yeah what? well here's, so, here's another thing too like how are the humans gaining these weapons as well like they have laser guns as well all they would have are just their what standard they bullets well, yeah what they yeah Eventually, so that's my point. Is that yeah. no, it doesn't make any. Listen, sense. James Cameron didn't think it all the way through. Okay, Literally he was not. like, "Listen, this is just for effects." I'm gonna steal. You're just trying to make a cinematic experience. Yeah. You know, James Cameron was like, "I'm gonna steal Westworld and <laughs> make it into a horror movie." <laughs> Pretty much. Boom, it's done. Westworld. <laughs> yeah, the original Westworld. Was oh. It was before. way before it Terminator. Was yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, what was, was it good? Uh, but in Westworld, don't they realize that they're actually robots and they, like, freak they out? They know they're robots, but that makes it even more terrifying. No. The main guy, what's his name? Boris? I've never actually watched Westworld. Westworld. No, uh... Borgnine? Ernest Borgnine. Er, oh, okay. Ah, there it is. Holy shit, dug that deep. <laughs> he's the, the bad guy, or he's the bad robot in the Western world. He's in the black hat, all dressed in black. The whole park goes haywire. He goes crazy on a murder spree, chasing the main character, and nothing the main character does can stop him because he's a robot in the 70s. Now think of a robot in the 80s. Right. Well, that's, Twice as strong. So that's exactly what James Cameron did. It was like, hey, let's make the movie more, more about that. More about unstoppable robot. Terminator. 
Yeah. Well, I think everyone's all like the square or a box or like when they're, they're really mean like the thing. Where they're just because of cardboard on. boxes. Hold on. That's all there we had back in the day. So We're back on cardboard boxes. Instead of oh, instead <laughs> of a Terminator <laughs> machine killing people, again, all we would have to do is make sex robots. It runs the world. That is true. If, if, if Skynet takes over Amazon, that's going to be Amazon. <laughs> it would have to be Amazon now. It's not the military. Yeah. It takes over Amazon and mails and a Google. sex robot to every male Ridiculous. in the world. They would, take Jesus. They, they would just, we would die. As a species, we would die. I want to die. Just saying. It's like a dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Was it the robots Thank name of electric can. sheep? Is that the name of the book? <laughs> I'm just saying, sex robots. That's how how Skynet is going to work in this universe. Well, Bye. watch out, guys. Skynet's a coming. <laughs> I'll kill Sky. I'll punch Skynet, dude. Yeah, I see that guy. Skynet. They would have those robots too, rocking. Tony. They would just be like, hey, <laughs> go to town, sir. And you'd just be like, ha, and ha. And both his hands would be broke. He's like, ah! You know, I'd punch that robot in the fucking spirit to the moon. <laughs> Bangs into the moon. That robot you just the spirit vomit. Like, ah, ah. How do you know? I, I know. You don't know. Maybe I just never used it on you. <laughs> well, I'll come back in four hours when you're finally ready. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pizza's done. He stops and he's like, oh, damn it. I was almost there. <laughs> you got to restart yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. On that, On that note. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all five viewers we had today and our new follower. Thanks for following and for the host. Tony before he goes super stand on us. Yeah. Or shits <laughs> his pants, whichever comes first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, he's not Mike. Anyway, we've been the Unsaver I've Heroes. Shit my pants. Is that what that smell is? It smells like peppermint and oh, unicorn man. farts. And he's Tony, who has shit himself. Shit myself. We're the Unsaver Heroes. We'll be back on in maybe a week or two. Probably if I ever a wake up. Years later. Yeah, if I ever wake up at a standard time. Wake me up when Thaddeus gets away. Up. I took a nap. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>